Good morning, good morning, kings and queens. This is Beyond the Walls Ministry, and I'm your minister, TJ Beatty. This morning, our scripture will be coming from the book of Mark, chapter 11, verses 22 through 24. And it reads, have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believe that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you say, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. This morning, I'm asking you, what does your faith look like? <laughs> it's about your faith. What does your faith look like? You can stay, you can stand all day and, and you can tell everybody that, hey, I believe. But when you're really inflicted or injected in that situation where you've got to stand on your faith, do you believe? I mean, Peter believed when he got out of the boat and he began to walk. It was when he took his eyes off Jesus and he lost focus that he began to see. And, and you got to have that type of faith that if God says it, that you will be able to do it if God is telling you hey listen I need you to to, to, uh, to go and uh, ask for uh, apply for this job today even though that you don't have the degree even though that you don't have the knowledge but I want to show you he wants to put you in a situation you got to believe that God has said hey this is for me that I got to go into this situation and believe on today that no matter what I got to believe and if you look at the scripture first thing it tells us to, to have faith in God it doesn't tell you to have faith in man it doesn't tell you to have faith in your friends it doesn't tell you have faith in your mother. It doesn't have to tell you have faith in your church or your pastor. It says to have faith in God. You got to have faith in God. You got to already believe in knowing that, hey, God is going to take care of me. God is going to provide for me. God is going to make a way for me. God is going to open the door for me. That's the type of posture that you got to have already that I, before I even go into prayer. That I already believe. I already have faith in God that his power, that what he said is going to happen in my life. I, all I'm doing is, is petitioning to God. All I'm doing is speaking and opening up in my mouth. That at that moment, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually showing that, hey, I believe. I'm putting this, this putting my, 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 my actions into, into I'm putting my, my faith into action and then at that moment, I, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm, gonna, I'm not just going to say it, I'm going to believe, I'm, I'm going to pray to God and tell God what I need, what I want, how I want it, and guess what, I'm going to expect it to happen. It's a faith is the something of things hoped for, the things unseen, guess what, those things that are not seen, guess what, I'm already expecting those things, I'm already hoping and believing that they're going to happen, that the, the miracle that is going to happen is, is not before me but i believe it's going to happen before it even happens i'm already operating here as if i already have it if, if, if i don't care what it is if if it's, if it's you having a job if it's, it's your finances increasing if it's a promotion that you're looking for if it's sickness that you want out of your body i'm already believing that god is going to do it he says have faith in jesus he says truly i tell you if anyone says to the mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart but believes that what they say will happen it will be done for them You got to believe that it will be done for you Before it even happens You got to already know that this thing will be done Before it even happens There's no doubt in my heart I can't go into that situation doubting if, if I don't believe If there's any ounce of doubt in me Then guess what It's not going to happen Because I don't believe You got to believe like that You got to know that you believe You ought to, be, you ought to have, have, have read enough stories in the Bible You ought to have, have been through enough situations in your life That you ought to just be a, a faith uh, stone. You ought to, everything about you is about faith. It doesn't matter what I believe. Hey, the bill, guess what? I've been working hard. I've been paying my tithe. I've been trusting God. I've been living righteous. Guess what? The situation comes up that I'm not even aware of. Why well, not prepare for it? Guess what? I believe the God's going to make a way. I believe the God's going to open the door. This situation is a, it's a storm before me, and it seems tough. It seems like I can't get out of it, and I don't know how it's coming up in my life. Guess what? I believe that God is going to make a way. He says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, he says, whatever, anything, it don't matter what the situation is. It don't matter how big, how small. He says, whatever, whatever means, guess what? If they tell me that I've got 10 days, and, and this, this thing is going to take my body, and it's going to destroy me, that whatever I ask in prayer, it, it, it doesn't matter if 
if uh, if if they already got ten people that has more experience uh, for the job, but I know that guess what? What God has for me it is for me. Guess what? Whatever I ask in prayer, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, He says, believe that you have received it. You gotta already know. Hey, guess what? This job is mine. This car is mine. This house is mine. If you're looking for a husband, you're looking for a wife, it's mine. If you want kids, it's mine. You gotta already say that it is mine. You gotta know that guess what? I already receive it. I understand it's mine. I'm sorry, operating right now as if it is mine. And it says, and it will be yours. I'm telling you that it's, it's yours on today. You got to have faith. You got to believe. You got to stand on the word of God. You got to trust God. You got to trust his heart. You got to trust his wisdom. You got to trust his knowledge. You got to know that, that God is going to give what do the, what's best for you in that situation. If you're praying to him, if you're seeking him, and, 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 and you want something from God, you got to know that he will deliver. His word, this is his word. His word is not a lie. He says, have faith. He says, believe, uh, and you will receive. He says, whatever you ask, ask in prayer. Look at that. Have faith. He says, have faith. Believe that you will receive it, and it will be done. He said, and he said, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you receive it, and it's yours. What does your faith look like on today? Do you believe on today? Do you stand on what you believe on today? You know your situation. You know what you need. You know what you're going through. Do you believe on today? The power of prayer is real. All you have to do is believe. Open up your mouth and opt operate with the tool that God has given you, the power to speak life into your situation. Hey guys, I don't know if there's somebody out there on today that don't believe on today, that's, that's you. I pray with you on today. I want to pray with you on today uh, that you believe on today that God uh, opens up your heart, your mind, and your eye lenses and allow you to see, hear him, and understand him more and understand his word so that when you go through situations in your life, uh, when you build your relationship with him, that you'll be able to operate and, and speak faith and speak truth into your situations and do what God has called you to do and be that believer, be that man and woman of God, be that awesome person, be that be that person who stands on his faith on your faith and, and use that tool on today. I pray that. Let, let, allow me to pray with you on today. Most gracious eternal Father God, we thank you again for this day, God. This awesome day, this day that you created, God. God, we know, God, that when we trust you, God, when we believe and we operate in our faith, God, that you will do miracles that will blow our mind, God. Things that we have not seen, things that we didn't even believe, didn't even understand that could happen, God. But we, we want to have the heart and the mind, friend, God, that we always trust you no matter what, that we have no doubt in those situations. God, that we stand on your word, God. And we, we know, God, that in prayer, God, whatever we ask, God, that we will receive, God. God, we understand and know, God, that you will give us the things, God, that should, that are best for us, God, in those situations as well, God. So we trust you in all these situations and all things that we go through in this life, God. We thank you, God, for this day, God. We thank you for the things and the miracles that you're about to do in our life on this day, God. Because we believe, God, that this is the day, God, that you have made, God. God, we believe that this is the day, God, that you will give us blessings, God. We believe that this is the day, God, that you will give us prosperity, God. We can believe that, God, that this is the day, God, that you will open us up, God, and transform our hearts and our minds, God, to be more like you, God, on today, God. So we thank you and we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, guys, I want to thank you once again for tuning in here with us on Beyond the Walls Ministries. What is your faith looking like on today? Do you believe?